Hello. As I'm getting close to finishing this tool, I figured this is a good spot to uh, explain the pneumatic circuit and what is going on uh, inside this uh, box here. Now, this box is going to have a glass panel on it, so you'll be able to see a lot of the um, tubes and fittings when it's done, but now that it's open, it's easy to point to stuff and explain how uh, these pneumatics work. Um, a lot of these fittings, these are, I think they're called one push fittings, and I don't know if you can see in there, if I can get that in focus or not, there's little teeth in there, um, and you just push in a hose in there, and then when you want the hose out, you just got to push the blue guys down and just give it a yank and the hose comes out. So it's super easy to plumb with this stuff. Um, just cut your tube to length and um, shove it in the hole and um, good to go. So uh, a lot of those fittings are in here and I'm going to explain uh, what they do right now. So I guess the first thing to explain is the solenoid valve. These guys, they're around 20 bucks on eBay. Um, it's got a 12 volt DC coil in here. Um, this coil pushes a cylinder back and forth in here that changes the direction the air is allowed to pass through. So air is coming through here and it's going through this one right now. Um, but if I press the button, it'll go through that way. Now, I'll, when I say press the button, this is just hooked up to 12 volt power. Um, and I just have this button right now. The actual tool will have a foot pedal, so I'll have both my hands free. Um, and I can just hit the foot pedal to make the cut. Um, so this is our air input. We've got a, a pressure regulator. It's showing 90 PSI right now. It's connected to the hose. And right now it's hooked up to that giant air compressor over there, which is overkill for this tool, but we have it and it works. Um, so let me explain the circuit and why it looks the way it does and what is actually going on in here. Um, I think I'm going to nickname this thing the flux capacitor because it just looks awesome and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but uh, and I'm actually going to put a glass panel on here so you'll be able to see this when everything's said and done. But um, let me explain how it works and uh, why it looks this way. So currently the air is coming up through here to this T fitting and it would go this way except that this is a one way valve so it can't go this way, it has to go this way. Um, if air were coming the other way, the air could come through the one way valve. Um, but right now, going this way with the air pushing up and pressure on this side, um, it has to go through this. And this is a uh, speed control valve. So I can adjust this um, and adjust the flow and how, how fast the air can flow through here. Um, it's going to go up to this cross and it has um, two hoses coming out of it. And each of those hoses um, comes out the back and then goes to these two pneumatic ramps. Now that these two hoses go through the top of the ramps. Um, inside here, there's this cylindrical chamber with a plunger, and in the middle of that plunger is a rod that comes up through here. That's the rod. Um, and right now, the air going through here is hitting the top side of that plunger and pushing it down. And so the tool's in the up position. Um, when that comes down, the air at the bottom side of the plunger gets pushed out through here. Um, and those two hoses actually come back and come into here. Now, right now I've adjusted the speed um, of which the tool raises with this one, and I don't want to limit that by the speed. Now, this, this speed control valve adjusts how fast it comes down. Um, I don't want to limit what that speed is, so the air has the option, in which it takes, of flowing through this one-way valve. Um, and bypassing the speed control valve. So then it comes to this T here and um, comes out this guy here and this is just a, a centered bronze uh, muffler that just kind of quiets things out. Um, when I press the button, the air is going to swap from here to here and now it's pressurized this way, can't go through the one-way valve, has to go through the speed control valve, comes over here to the um, pneumatic ram, hits the bottom side of that, 
pushes up on that plunger, that rod pushes up on these swing arms. These swing arms come down and you can see uh, the utility knife blades. Um, there's some back stops back here. And the two tools are allowed to slide on this T-track, adjust the angle um, to make uh, all the cuts that I need to make. So let's actually just go ahead and cut a piece. So I'm just going to put that piece in there now. Um, like I say, normally I'd have one hand here, the other hand here, be using the foot pedal um, to hold it down. But um, since I'm holding the camera in one hand and the button in the other, um, I'll just do that for now. So let's go ahead and make a cut. And this is what happens when you don't hold it down. Um, it just gets wedged between the blades. Um, but you can see that's a nice cut. And it does really clean, sharp edges, which I'm very happy about. And I've actually, without the camera in my hand, had a stack of five layers of mat board. So I'll be able to cut five parts at once with this tool. Just be able to stack it in there and and just chop, chop, chop. And show that from a couple different angles. One thing I am really happy about this tool is the side-to-side -side play. Um, I need to cut trapezoids at a very specific angle and if there was a lot of side-to-side -side play that angle and the, the width of those uh, cuts would be all over the place but you can kind of see that mark down there where it cuts through onto the sacrificial mat board top. Um, there is no play in there and I actually put a fish scale on here and pulled on it with the dial indicator to measure um, how much uh, side to side play and at 30 pounds lateral load I get three thousandths of an inch um, deflection on the tool so that's about the thickness of a sheet of paper and in normal operation it should never have 30 pounds of lateral load on it so very very happy about that anyway um, this gets a longer update than uh, I was planning but it's also pretty uh, uh, a lot of information so still have the electronics to do um, I'm gonna have a um, part counter built in there but I may wire that later and get onto the other tools so I can get the models out because I know people are waiting on Kickstarter and may do the counter I don't know maybe I'll do it while watching movies at home or something my free time anyway thanks for watching um, I will uh, give you guys more updates soon